Welcome back everyone to the channel. We are doing European stadiums again. Yes, this is number two. The only difference is, well, firstly, I'm going to get a perfect score. Okay, that's just that's just fact. I'm going to join Harith here on my personal friends uh, leaderboard at which I stand, well, probably very far down. That's not number four. I need to be up there. I will say though, he got lucky. Because it's very hit and miss. It's in the lap of the gods as to whether you get a perfect score on this. Anyway, the other difference is we've got new loca new locations. Okay, Unibwin has added poor about seventy more locations, making it up to a around two hundred. So that's going to add a lot more variety and fruitfulness to this, if you like. Fruitfulness. What the fuck are you on about? Anyway, let's play it. Fruitfulness would be good, because that would imply good scores. Okay, wow, look at this. Already, without moving around too much, we've got Estrella Galicia. Okay, Galicia, if you remember from watching my European regions video, is an area of Spain, and it's right in the, uh, well, I'll show you on the map. It is here. So, what clubs could we have here uh well we could have Coruña, we could have vigo but i celta vigo yeah but i don't know if they're um they're still up there in the top uh league uh and then oviedo wait no that's that's in the next one along i can't remember the name of this uh section what is it section region asturias okay so it's looking like Coruña at the moment, I would say. Um, but yeah, we'll look around. I mean, we've got newspapers here. DXT, white and blue. You know, if I didn't know any better, I think I would have gone for Atletico Bilbao. Uh, especially if you can read the language on here, because if it was Basque, then uh, that would that would definitely cement it as Bill Bauer because they also play, I believe, in white and blue. Um, these guys, though, actually, there's a lot of white and red shirts, to be honest. So, yeah, and they're having a good old sing-song at the moment. Let's look around a bit more. The stadium's white and blue. Could do with a scrub, some of these seats. Could do with a good old bit of uh, elbow grease, but who am I to judge? Uh, Spain have had some, you know, economic troubles. So, you know, let's leave that there. This guy's taking photos of us. So we'll try and do this as quick as we can. And yeah, it is quite poor image quality, to be honest. It is quite poor. Uh, let's check it out. Let's let's go into the map. Have a look at uh, Deportivo La Coruña Stadium, which shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, because there it is. Because... No need to explain. There it is. And let's see if the uh, the compass correlates. Um, although, I wouldn't take too much notice. As one of you pointed out in the comments to the last video, uh, sometimes they're, they're just completely wrong. You know, they're... they're <laughs> look at him. Wee! It's like one of the ghosts on Harry Potter. He's just, just bobbing along there. The ghost of an... He, he does look like the ghost of a sort of 70s player, doesn't he? You know, with his mullet and Hitler moustache, possibly. No, I think that's a bold claim. Anyway, the compass, the compass. Uh, we're heading north. We're facing north now. So it doesn't correlate, does it? That's quite worrying. That is quite worrying because, yeah, that's it's. it should be vertical, but it's horizontal. So... Oh, that's annoying. Is there anything that can give this away? Unfortunately, I can't be 100% sure whether Deportivo La Coruña play in, in red and white. So we're going to have to look for a couple more clues. Cab Cabre Roa? No. I don't think there's anything we can really go off maybe there's a few flags here let's have a look oh man i don't know i 
What about the scarves? Sporting. I'd say sport. That's quite a bit too vague for what I'm looking for. Um, that says Antica Bayou. I really don't know, guys. I think they're playing red and white, don't they? We've got we've got lots of factors here because obviously the stadium's the wrong way around. Let's have a look at Celta Vigo Stadium and see if that puts my mind at rest. I really don't think they would have a stadium that big, to be honest. Uh, where is it? I've I've lost all sense of steering. There it is. There's Vigo. We'll have a quick look. We'll have a quick look and then uh, we'll make our mind up. Where is it? Come on. Looking for green writing. Can't find anything. Uh, now, if I can't find anything, then I'm just going back. Stadium, there we go. See, that is horizontal, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh, wait. Yeah, they're both horizontal. My mistake. Okay, if they're both horizontal, I'm going back to La Coruña. Because that's... I just don't think Celta Vigo Stadium would be that big. No offence. Um, but you're a, a minnow club. You, you're never going to go anywhere. Um, okay, let's let's go there then, I guess. Even though it could equally be the other side. Let's go there. Get in! Get in! Not only have we got the right stadium, we were somehow close enough to get the, the, the perfect score. Fantastic. And and there's the proof. We obviously weren't in the middle of the pitch. Uh, and if you don't, if that, if you disagree with that, then you're going nowhere in life. Let's carry on, <laughs> just like Celta Vigo. Okay. Wow, this is a biggie. This is a biggie. What could this be? My word. Could this be the Bernabeu? No, it's not that big. It's big, but it's not that big, is it? This is probably like a 50,000 seater, possibly more, possibly, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but there's, no, there's there's an alarming lack of writing here, which is a bit disconcerting. The colours are blue and yellow. We've also got blue and yellow shining out of here. What's all that about? Is that intentional or is it a theme, a yellow and blue? There is a yellow and blue theme. Could be something to do with Ukraine or Sweden. Countries that have blue and yellow. I don't know. Look at that. Gata 4. Gata 4. <sighs> what Or 1. 4 or 1. What language could that be? It could be... Well, it couldn't be Ukrainian. So we can rule that out. It could be Swedish. Gata. But it could equally be, you know, Portuguese or something like that. Um... It's quite, it doesn't look, oh, here's some writing. Friends, oh, okay, okay. English writing, just to throw us off. I don't think we're in England. I would know what this stadium would be if we were in England. So, you can fuck that off. Hmm. Blue and yellow theme. And there's Gata 2, and there is no, no other clues here. It doesn't look hot. The outside doesn't look hot. So I'm leaning towards some sort of Swedish stadium. How about it? There's nothing else, is there? I'm close to wrapping this up now, guys. Yeah. I'm. It doesn't feel like we're in a hot country. And... Wow, they've got standing there, standing seats. We need those back in England. It's about time. Ah, oh, I don't know. Let's go for Sweden then. Stockholm, and just hope. Even though if it was a national stadium, it would probably have an Olympic track, an athletics track. I'll go for it. Um, I'm looking for stadiums. There's one. Ericsson Globe. Let's see if it correlates. 
No, that's that's round. That's like that's like their version of a Millennium Dome. Let's have another look. And then if we can't find anything else in Stockholm, I really am stumped to be honest. I don't know what I don't know where I'll go. Um Looking for stadiums. Stadiums. Come on. Help me look here. This is a bit desperate here on this second round, but, you know, what can you do when there's no writing? Hammerby. Hammerby. They have a club, don't they? They have a football club. Or is that Danish? Um, answering comments below. Oh. Man, oh, man. Okay, back in the middle, back in the middle. Come on, we'll get we'll get it. Right, we've got the Ericsson Globe. Looking for other stadiums. What's where's the Stockholm football stadium? I don't even think we're in Sweden. That's that's the annoying thing. Here's one. Stockholm Stadium. That can't be it, can it? That's just uh, that's an Olympic one. We're we're fucked then. We've ruled everything out. Uh, is there anything else? We were clutching at straws. What can I say? Oh man, I don't want to. I want to get a perfect score. <laughs> I am definitely clutching at straws now. Okay, then, let's go back into the centre. And let's go for the Eric Ericsson Globe. Let's go for that. Absolutely no chance, but here we go. W hey! No way, we were in Stockholm. I don't believe that. 6.2 miles away. Look. You are fucking joking. Oh, that's so annoying. I could have found that. Oh, man. If I'd have just gone north. It's so weird. I thought I was absolutely pissing in the wind there. Um, and shooting in the dark simultaneously. Which I wouldn't recommend doing, <laughs> by the way. But yeah, so what is that then? What is that the club of? Answers in the comment below. Okay, next one. Damn, we can't get a perfect score. Okay, this this should be good. We can look at people, which is always funny. Kids on their phones, look. What a shame. What a shame. Forget the football. I'm playing Candy Crush. This this one as well, look. Terrible. Uh, right, let's have a look then. We've got a purple theme. It reminds me of the Andalek one, but look at that. Real Sociedad. Real Sociedad, and that is the most disturbing thing you'll see before Christmas. I'm talking about when your dad gets drunk. Uh, okay, yeah, Real Sociedad. And that looks uh, like the Basque language, because for a moment there, I was a bit worried, uh, because I didn't know where Real Sociedad was. So, let's have a look at the stadium. There it is, very nice. Uh, and they play in blue and white, as you can see there, look. On the uh, little stickers on the chairs. Yeah, a very nice stadium. And it's got Olympic facilities as well, which is really cool. Um, right, let's get in the map then. We don't need to waste too much time on this one. Real Sociedad. So let's have a look in the Basque region. Where could that be? It might not even be in the Basque region. That's the annoying thing. Could it be in Bilbao? Or could it be... In a place called Sociedad. No, because that that's not the name of a place, is it? That's that's more of a word, like society -ment. I don't know. Um, there's Santander. I think we could be in Bilbao. Let's have a quick look. I know the Bilbao Stadium is over here. Where is it exactly? There it is, San Mames. But that will be Atletico Bilbao Stadium. Unless they share. Ugh. This is going to be hard. This is going to be hard because I have no idea where Real Sociedad is. 
I really don't. Um, but that's definitely Basque writing, isn't it? It's got to be. Atletico. Wait. Maybe these are the away guys. Oh, God, this is confusing. That might be an Atletico Bilbao shirt. This guy's got Atletico something. And then that is Real Sociedad. So they could be mixed around, couldn't they? Let's have another look. Let's keep looking. There's a Sociedad. That could be either. Because they both play in blue and white. Oh, for God's sake. This is hard. Maybe that's just Atletico, blah, 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 Sociedad. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. The annoying thing is this correlates with uh, the stadium for Atletico Bilbao, San Mames. I was in this city not long ago. Look. Kind of. Kind. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, God. This isn't easy. Where is Real Sociedad? I have no idea. Is it in Logrono? Real Sociedad. Is it in Valencia or Madrid or something like that? I have no idea, guys, so I'm going to have to go for this and I'm going to have to just click in the Bilbao Stadium. And I'm 95% sure I'm wrong. But I don't want to waste any more time trying to work it out. So I'll go there. San Sebastian. Ah, oh, I was there too. I was in this city as well. I don't believe it. Oh, soccer club, Real Sociedad de Football. How did I not get that having been there last month? Last month. I'll tell you a funny story. Well, it's not funny at all. But I camped up on this hill and the views from up there are ridiculous me and my girlfriend we snuck in climbed right to the top of the mountain um and set up our tent and it, it just the most incredible what i honestly think it's one of the best wild camp views you could have i really do uh, anyway let's move on how disappointing at least we weren't a million miles away anyway on to this one what have we got here there is one cool, hard-looking man. Does he look Irish? He kind of does. He's got the ginger beard, but we'll carry on looking. New Balance. Celtic. We're in Celtic Stadium. So Irish, Scottish. You know, he might be from Irish descent, if you think about the link to, um, to the Irish there. For this club, it is big. It's a Catholic club. Um... And there is the crest. So we are in, what's it called again? They'll kill me if I don't get this. What's it called? Oh, God, I'm going to have an angry mob around my house. It's My mind's just gone blank. You've got Ibrox. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. Ibrox and Celtic Park, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's get into Glasgow. Probably one of the fiercest rivalries in the world between... Yeah, Celtic Park. Phew! I can unlock the door. Okay. We are down this end. So I'm just going to waste no time here and go for that. 45.6 metres. You're having a laugh. Um, more proof that it's, it's just very temperamental and wrong, uh, for want of a better word. But we've got the 5,000 on that one. Let's do the last round, folks. Oh, oh, hello, hola. Bloody hell. That is, that's, if anyone could find a closer up starting image than that, I will get the next train to Glasgow, stand outside Celtic Park, and hold up a sign saying, Catholics suck balls. What is the club? Busevda. The colours look like Galatasaray. The people look like Galatasaray. That is Beer Jürgen Buseda. It sounds possibly Turkish. I can't think of any other club that has these uh, colours. 
especially one that would have a stadium this big. This is a big stadium. Um, and I'm trying to see if you can see the badge there for Galatasaray. No, I can't, but um, it's got to be. Oh, how did I not notice that? Jesus. And uh, does that mean they've won the Champions League four times, the European Cup? I wouldn't have thought so. It's probably a domestic thing. Let's get into the stadium then. And uh, yeah, Istanbul. Let's try and find it. Very big city, as we all know. So I've got to be careful here. Um, I've already got a mob of uh, Glaswegians after me. I don't want to accidentally find the Fenerbahce Stadium. So, oh, this is hard because, oh, what's this? Oh, God, I've done it. I found the Fenerbahce Stadium. Okay, let's zoom out of there. So, I'm guessing it'll be in a different area to Fenerbahce. Is it over the sea? I have no idea. I'm just having a quick scan. I would say there's there's a sports complex. No. Do you know what? I'm going to zoom into that and just double check because I won't live with myself if it is that. No, pretty confident it isn't. So we've got Fenerbahce. There it is. I wonder if it's over the sea. Over the, uh, what's it called? The something straits. I can't remember. My mind is just memory of a goldfish at the moment. The, Dar the Dardanelles Straits? Oh, I don't know. Did it in World War One, the Gallipoli campaign and all that. Uh, anyway, back to football. We're finding... We're finding uh, Fenerbahce. We're trying to find... No, we're not. We're trying to find Galatasaray. Jesus. Um, I'm banking on it being in a different suburb, a different area. But I'm not having much luck. Besiktas I've found as well. Oh, my God. I wasn't even sure that that was in... Istanbul. Oh my god. It's gotta be it's gotta be in a big area, hasn't it? On the plus side, I know Istanbul like the back of my hand now. Okay, that's it. I give up. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click on the Fenerbahce Stadium just in case they share the stadium. Simultaneously send a big Turkish mob after me in the process. They don't correlate at all, but... Oh, hello again, mate. Really sorry, buddy, but uh, I'm going to have to go there. Oh, what? What do you mean? I had a right good look up here. Turk Telecom Arena. I don't bloody believe it. I don't bloody believe it. Well, please forgive me for that, guys. Turks out there. Uh, I'm truly, truly sorry. May Allah have mercy on me. Let's view the summary. We had, well, we did have Sweden. We did have Istanbul. But we, we, we clicked different part of the cities. Um, La Coruña was a good one. That was a good one, I have to say. Bilbao, San Sebastian, a real shame. And then Celtic Park, not too hard to get. Well, that was episode two. I will do this again. Mark my words. And um, I hope your team featured. If it didn't, hopefully it will next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Leave your comments in this section. In the comments section. Not just any old section. Uh, with uh, any sort of fun facts or uh, requests for the future. Ta-da. Football. You fat bastard. You fat bastard. You fat bastard. You ate all the pies.